drop a like and sub in the next 5 seconds and this will be your Fortnite account. If you don't, this will be your account. Since I posted my last video on Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4, I've actually gotten a DM about some leaked information about the upcoming brand new season. And from all of this brand new information, I'm honestly super excited to talk about everything that will be included inside of the brand new season arriving on September 17th. But just in case any of you guys are new, we do get 5 new and old subscribers every single day here on the channel. So if any of you guys are going to be in need of gift, all you have to do is drop a like on this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the post notification bell turned on. Most importantly, make sure to drop a comment down below with your Epic Games ID and what item from the item shop you would like to have gifted to you on your account. And well, make sure you are keeping an eye out for the secret word hidden in this video to give you an even better chance of receiving a gift from me. But if you haven't picking up anything in the item shop for yourself, do consider using my support credit code YTORA as it greatly supports the channel and it allows me to do even more giveaways for you guys. Hashtag ad. Here's a shout out to five of you guys using my code. I greatly appreciate if you are using my code. Make sure to let me know down the the comments and you can be showing up in the very next video and with all of that being said let's get straight into it so it looks like next season being chapter 3 season 4 is actually going to be a brand new marvel themed season it's like how in chapter 2 season 4 we obviously had the big major marvel crossover event which obviously was the nexus war and we obviously had the marvel themed battle pass which included tons of skins such as thor iron man and a few others it looks like obviously it's going in the exact same formula that every new season obviously goes in as it's not Normally a direct mirror of what happened in the previous chapter. The best example I can give to this is the fact that back inside of chapter 2 season 2 we obviously had the whole ghost versus shadow thing going on. Inside of chapter 3 season 2 we obviously had the 7 versus the IO. And this even goes further going back to chapter 1 season 4 when obviously we had a lot of different superhero themed skins inside of that battle pass. Let's skip ahead to chapter 2 season 4 we obviously had even more superheroes in the form of Marvel characters. It would make sense that obviously moving into chapter 3 season 4 we would obviously be getting another marvel superhero themed battle pass which obviously is going to include brand new skins not only that we even have information about what could possibly be happening in the upcoming marvel season live event moving into chapter 3 season 4 it was confirmed after chapter 2 season 4 ended that we would actually be seeing the addition of modok in the fortnite island who is one of marvel's biggest villains who is definitely up there with galactus who obviously we did have in the previous chapter when we did have the devourer of worlds live event event. If you guys who don't know what MODOK even means, MODOK actually stands for a mental organism designed only for killing. And that's obviously, we can see he is a, basically a giant head who kind of sits in a chair. How exactly MODOK will be arriving on the Fortnite island for obviously us to get a brand new Marvel season next season. More down to the fact that we still have the release of the Marvel Zero War comic books right now, which obviously have given us a lot of different storyline information about Fortnite and obviously the Marvel Universe. At the time recording this video, we are actually only a few weeks away from issue number 3 which will be arriving on the 17th of August and issue number four will be releasing on the 27th of August and then we do have the final issue which should be releasing on the 29th of September remember if you guys can't actually get your hands on these comic books there is redeemable codes at the back of every issue that will give you some sort of bonus reward for your Fortnite account so far we've obviously had the spider-man zero outfit which you can actually get from these codes alongside with the dark seven weapon wrap which is obviously for an upcoming iron man zero outfit and the next issue being issue number three will actually be giving us a brand new set of wolverine pickaxes in the form of his adamantium claws obviously you want to make sure you're probably going to get that fortnite crew pack for the month of august considering you can get the wolverine zero outfit from this month it obviously would look really good with this brand new upcoming adamantium claws pickaxe for the final two issues you're going to be getting yourself a spray and then the other issue we will actually be getting a loading screen all right redeeming all five codes you will actually be getting yourself a bonus outfit on your account and obviously we did have this for the dc comics as well where you actually could have gotten the armored batman zero skin this time around it's actually going to be coming in the form of the brand new iron man zero outfit and it will be arriving in the item shop shortly after you can actually get this from the comic book codes when it arrives it also will be in the item shop alongside with the stark 7 weapon wrap also so if you guys obviously missed out on that weapon wrap you will be able to get it this time around moving into the new season but if you guys do remember back inside of chapter 2 season 3 towards the end of that season we actually had a comic book cover actually show up in the battle pass lobby screen every few days we did actually have some small map changes that were related to everything going on in this comic book such as thor's hammer actually showing up on the fortnite island in general it kind of gave us a bit more content 
context to exactly why Galactus was on his way to the Fortnite island, obviously to try and devour the Zero Point. Well, this Marvel Zero World comic book will actually be doing the exact same thing. Obviously, it's not going to be showing up inside of Fortnite, so you will actually have to pick up these comic books to understand exactly what's going on. I guess by the very last issue, it will actually say on the very last page to be continued inside of Chapter 3, Season 4. More likely is where Modok will actually be coming into this, as we most likely can expect to see him at the very end of the Zero World comic book. Should then obviously give us everything we do need for the upcoming new season, where we most likely will have Modok on the Fortnite island alongside with his AIM henchmen, which definitely do look like they could be some sort of Fortnite henchmen on the map. Then obviously we're going to probably get some changes over the course of that entire season until the very last week, where we most likely will have some sort of live event where we will need to try and take out Modok. We did actually have some leaks as well about the upcoming Ball Pass. After I did post my video yesterday about it, we actually did get a DM, basically giving us a little bit more information about what kind of skins we should be expecting to see. A long story short, it is looking like we're going to be getting a lot of item shop skins as well that are going to obviously be related to Marvel. So some of these skins might get swapped out for the item shop or maybe even end up in the battle pass as well. One of the main plant skins that should be arriving inside of next season is going to be none other than the Falcon, who is obviously one of the biggest characters now in Marvel. When he does arrive in the game, he will have his base Falcon costume, which you can see up on screen right here. And then he also will have a Captain America edit stuff. Seeing as how he did actually become Captain America only recently. We can actually take a look at this from one of the Marvel Zero Point comic book covers where we can see Falcon in his Captain America costume. He is fighting the Omega, who obviously was the tier 100 back inside of chapter 1 season 4. Then moving on, he also did say that we should be seeing the addition of a brand new Hulk outfit. He did say that this could actually change considering we do have the release of the She-Hulk TV show on Disney Plus in the middle of August. They either are going to be added adding in a Hulk outfit that is obviously straight from this show, or we could be getting a comic book version of the Hulk, where obviously we can see that this could be one of the edit styles that we have on the Zero War comic as well. You can clearly see that he is not actually green, and he is grey, and he is wearing a suit. So this actually is the Joe Fixit version of the Hulk. Personally, I am hoping ends up in the Battle Pass more than the version from the actual She-Hulk show. Obviously, he is definitely one of the more traditional Hulk. He didn't actually confirm this to me at all, but if we are getting a fully Marvel Team Battle Pass, I am really hoping that we finally get the addition of Spider-Man Miles Morales and also Spider-Gwen. Over the past few seasons, we've gotten lots of little bits of information about Miles Morales arriving in the game, considering we did have his uncle as the secret skin inside of Chapter 3 Season 2. If you actually did complete all of the challenges in order to get that skin, there was actually a quote from the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse movie that you actually would have gotten on your screen if you did actually unlock the skin. This quote basically did say, you are on your way, just keep going, and this is an important important quote that was actually from Miles Morales. He was actually talking to the Prowler inside of that movie. So this was basically a little small easter egg to Miles Morales finally making his way into the game. When he does arrive in the game, I'm really hoping he does get his two different edit styles. One of them obviously being his more streetwear version of a Spider-Man suit. You can see up on screen, which definitely looks pretty sick, alongside with his traditional Spider-Man Miles Morales outfit, which you can see looks more like the original Spider-Man. If we do get this, we most likely will still see the return of the mythic web shooters again, most likely in the Miles Morales color scheme. They may even have some sort of other ability, such as being able to go invisible, very much like the Predator ability back inside of Chapter 2 Season 5. They also did give me a list of other skins, now it's not confirmed whether or not they will be showing up in the Battle Pass, or whether they will be inside of the Fortnite item shop, but he also did say Captain Carter, we do also have Sil, Iron Fist, and also Hellcat. So I'm not entirely sure exactly which one of these will end up being inside of the Battle Pass, or will we just be seeing them roll out in the item shop? Just just like inside of Chapter 2 Season 4, when we did have the Super Series Cup, where more or less it was a 2v2 knockout cup, only using Marvel Mythic items. Well, if you did do well in those cups, you actually could have gotten yourself some sort of Marvel skin before releasing the item shop. We could be seeing the return of those with obviously brand new Marvel Mythic items that could come in the form of maybe even Falcon's wings, or even the return of some of the older ones, such as Iron Man's Unibeam, Repulsors, and obviously Doctor Doom's mystical weapons. If you guys obviously did play those back inside of Chapter 2 Season 4, you would have remembered, you would have actually been able to get the Daredevil outfit, the Ghost Rider outfit, and also the Black Widow snowsuit skin, and also the original Venom skin before we got the movie version. If I am curious, make sure to let me know down in the comments out of all of these upcoming Marvel skins that could be arriving in the game, and also some of the mythic items. Let me know down in the comments which ones are you most excited for.
Firstly, I'm really hoping we do get some sort of War Machine outfit. I think he would look super sick inside of Fortnite, considering it's more or less a buffed up version of the Iron Man skin. But obviously, only time will tell. Unfortunately, that is all I pretty much have for you guys in today's video. For the secret word of today's video, it is going to be the word Iron Fist. So if you did watch all the way to the very end of this video, make sure to drop that word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.